Hi, we are here live at um, the Founder World event at Pier 27 in San Francisco. With me is Purnima Kuchikar, the Director of App and Games Business Development at Google Play. Hi Purnima. Hello, very nice to see you. Would you like to, talk, uh, to tell us a little bit about your background and perhaps how did you get to Google? Well, I started like most Indians as a software engineer, so I think I started as a developer. I've always been passionate about how technology changes lives. Uh, so just before Google, I was at Nokia managing the developer network, and uh, candidly, Google found me on Google. And uh, when was that? It was three years ago when Play was just founded. Uh, you know, it was Android Marketplace before that. And so at the launch of Play, Jamie Rosenberg, who heads all of Play, reached out, and uh, the rest is history. That's fascinating. So, so you got you got the the privilege actually to to work with Google Play from the very beginning and to build the business from, from its foundation. Yes, I can't think of a more exciting place to be. Uh, you know, when I joined, it was like a team of less than five people, and now we have a global team supporting developers in big and small places around the world. So speaking about developers, I, I meet developers almost every day just like you. We are both working in different capacities, but uh, in the field trying to work with developers and help de developers. Many of them are looking to monetize and they're looking to speak and to get advice and to perhaps get features on Google Play. So would you have any guidance how to build it for success and, and to, to the right way of monetization? No, absolutely. So what we find is that the people who monetize the best are the ones who don't think about monetization. They spend a lot of time really thinking about the user and creating value for the user and actually being very, very careful about when they monetize. Uh, so I think that's number one. So I always tell people, think about your user, think about your value proposition to the user, and think about the one single engagement metric around which you can build your company. So for example, if you want people to come back and play multiple sessions, then think about how to have them come back lots of times. If you want people to spend a lot of time in one session, then you do different things. So messaging apps, lots of small sessions. Media apps, perhaps longer sessions, and so on. So that's something we find constantly. Uh, casual games, lots of small sessions. RPG games, large sessions. So you have to have a bigger storyline, larger characters, and so on. So as I, you know, quality matters. I would encourage people to go and look at the secrets of app success on Google Play. I think it's being given out to the founders here today. Uh, which tells you all the different ways you can improve the quality of your app, acquire and retain good users, etc. Uh, really, really think about and listen to your users. Like, you know, think about reviews, what the people are saying, and how you can respond to that. And we are typically looking at those signals. We're looking at, is this a high quality app? Uh, are users loving it? What does the rating say? Is there enough innovation in the app for that particular category? Or is that just a me too app? And, and finally, and most, most importantly, is it timed right, right? Because sometimes you might launch something and it's like drowned in the noise of something else. And so, yeah, I mean, I, we discover great hidden gems constantly and we're always looking for the next innovator. So, so quality matters, but timing is not less important. Exactly, that. exactly. Would you defer or perhaps divert your, your advice between early stage and more mature companies? Startups? Yeah, I mean, you know, the early stage guys, I think, are still trying to find their bearing. Uh, I would highly recommend, and this is true for mature as well, but for early stage especially, to build a very trusted community of alpha and beta testers so that they can have people who can amplify their voice. Because then people will go out and talk about it. So building a community that of people who care about it, I think, matters even more in early stage. Uh, with the mature guys, uh, mature, and you know, when it is a mature company, uh, metrics matter. Uh, are they, you know, growing at the right clip? You know, when you have one install and you get to the second install, you still have 100% growth, right? Absolutely. So then as you get bigger, uh, is the growth continuing? Are the installs happening? How does the uninstall rate look? Are people still actively using the app? It becomes much more quantitative about how they should think about their business. I know that uh, you just uh, came from upstairs giving a keynote. What did you discuss and what were the reactions? Um, well, I hope the reaction was positive. What we discussed is 
uh, the amazing ability to, for founders today to build global businesses on platforms like Android, that you can be two guys sitting in San Francisco or in Cameroon, uh, but you have the world at, at, your, at your fingertips, which I think was not true even 10, 15 years ago. Uh, when people had to, you know, when people decided that they were going global, they had new management teams come in, etc. So it is fascinating that two guys sitting anywhere could reach the world. And I gave some tips about when you think about this big world, there's huge opportunity, but you also have to think very locally to go global. So that was sort of like the crux of the conversation. Yeah, I think it's a key, it's a key point. Go locally, even if you know that you want to go globally. I think it's a big. Uh, very important advice. Uh, finally, what uh, was your impression from Founder World, both in terms of the audience and perhaps the activities here? Well, the excitement is totally palpable. Uh, you know, it always reminds me why I do what I do, uh, because you know, being around people who are constantly thinking about changing the world is highly infectious and highly energizing. So I do want to thank you and your team for putting this together and giving me the opportunity to be here. Thank you very much for taking the time. I know that you are very busy. Well, thanks was, for having uh, me. It was really fun. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Uh, live from uh, Founder World. See you at the next segment.